Hey everybody, Andrew here from iMore, and in this video we're going to go over how to type better or how to type more easily or efficiently on the iPad using the split keyboard option in iOS 5. Um, basically what you'll want to do, I'm just in spotlight here, uh, just so I can show you an example using the keyboard. Basically what you'll want to do, there's a few ways to invoke uh, the split keyboard. Um, you can tap and hold here. Um, you'll notice a little pop-up comes up asking you whether you want to undock it or split it. I uh, just tap just tap split it'll split it up here you can actually move it or slide it up or down to uh, get the position to your desire um, I'll show you another option if you hold here and undock it it'll actually bring it up without splitting it apart into two separate sections um, that's kinda nice for folks with bigger hands or if you want to do it in the uh, portrait mode um, that's a nice option for users who want to have the keyboard up here instead of at the very bottom um, but if you want to use the split keyboard you can actually uh, Apple didn't mention this they kinda just uh, it was discovered the other day um, but they didn't actually mention it in any of the features with iOS 5 but uh, regardless if you tap any of the empty sections on the uh, side of the keys here or this side of the key whenever you're using split keyboard um, it'll actually input the opposing uh, the opposing key on the opposite side um, so you'll see I type T here or Y and it, if I type next to the T, it'll actually input Y. Or if I tap next to the Y, it'll put in T. So it's pretty useful um, if you don't want to, you know, if if you're quicker using, uh, you know, your the left side for Y or H or B or vice versa, um, you can pop it into portrait mode here, and it works just the same. Um, see, there's my Y right next to the T, there's my uh, H right next to the G, um, V and B works just as well, um, it works on this side as well, if you type in right next to the H it'll give you G, um, it's really awesome, sorry I was kind of out of the frame there for a second so you couldn't really see the letters, I apologize, but that's basically how it works, um, you know as long as you get your practice down and you actually use the split keyboard on a regular basis you can really get efficient at typing on the iPad um, it's a really nice feature it's kind of an easter egg again Apple doesn't talk about it much um, but if you're gonna wanna learn how to type as fast as possible on the iPad keyboard this is probably the best option to go with um, since it has the phantom keys option um, again it may not be for you. Um, I'm not specifically a fan of the split keyboard. I prefer to use it down here or just undock it, bring it up to wherever I want it um, using the regular keyboard layout instead of two separate sections. Um, but again, it's up to you. It's all about personal preference. Um, it's a really handy feature. It'll help you uh, type faster and more efficiently. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and thanks for watching.